hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great if you're new to my channel you are highly and always welcome please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for me and also like and share the video guys i have something to share in this video i'm not trying to make a comparison on any couple but obele she have um convinced a lot of people that you can you can be in a polygamous family and still be happy. Yeah, you can marry more than one woman and still be happy. The only thing is that you have to treat your wives equal. Don't make anyone look um, inferior and make the other person look um, um, small or that the person is not, is not worthy. Well, 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 um, what am I trying, trying to say in this video? Uh, but let me see, um, is a king, a very wealthy man. And he's married to two, uh, to two or three beautiful women. Yeah. And um, he treats them equally. He treats them equally. But in this video, he's celebrating his first wife, uh, Olori Sekinat Elegushi, who has been his girlfriend, his party, even before they got married. So she is like his handbag. Like she is more than a wife to him. She is also his best friend. So he used um, some throwback pictures to celebrate his beautiful wife, Queen Sekinat Elegushi. Then let's not forget that Obelegushi is not a king that is biased. And in one way or the other, he has tried to, you know, talk to uh, on the Oni of Ife about um, when he separated from his wife, Olori Naomi, which was supposed to be a long time relationship, but some things happened along the way. So this couple has been given couple goals. Like they have been married for a long time and their children are grown, but they still behave like teenagers, like, like teenagers in love. They keep giving reasons to that marriage is sweet. It depends on how you handle issues. So there has, uh, there has been a lot of ups and downs in the relationship of Olori Sekina that people were like, ah, are you sure that this woman is not in the range of breaking her? Uh, as in, is she, is she, she's in the range of um, taking a walk in this marriage because of the way she saw things. She's a woman that believes in one man, one woman. So she, but when she saw that things are not going to work that way and life has to take some adjustment, she still understood with her man. When the king took a second wife, she wasn't really okay with her. It took her time to accept this um fact even though some people came out to call her names like she's being tribalist that, that she's a, a tribalistic person because the second wife is from the northern side but she told she came out and debunked the news that she is not against any tribe and she is not tribalistic that even if the king marries a, a fellow yoruba person she will also feel bad that when she was married to her best friend who is uh, obele she she never began for any other person to come into their life. So the main reason why Obele Wishi married uh, the second wife was because of he wanted a male child, which eventually, the second wife had a male child, but unfortunately the baby died after some years or something. So Obele Wishi has not stopped celebrating his first wife, Queen Sekinat. He even have to celebrate her with some throwback pictures of them when they got married, you know, Try to always make her happy. They are always together. At this stage, he doesn't even behave like a king. He takes his wife clubbing. His wives, he takes them clubbing. He makes them feel along. He buys expensive things for them. He, he, you know, he gives them a kind of comfort that they don't have to worry about anything. So there is no reason to be backbiting or being in a competition. Because he has made them comfortable. And that comfortability is, I think, is what is more important in marriage than any other thing. So this man has really shown that you can marry more than one woman from different type, from, from, from different tribe, um, excuse me, different ethnic groups, different religion, and still be happy. And still know how, just for you to know how to accommodate the two different individuals you don't have to be biased or make one look as if you love her more than the other one okay and you have to show respect to women because 
I think the, the, the main thing that women want in a relationship is respect. Even if you want to marry another woman, there's a way you respect this woman. Then everything will be, no woman is a devil. It's just the way you handle the woman. Once a woman, what a woman needs from a man is just self, is respect and regard. And make her feel that she is important. That she is your word. I think if other king are, are following the footsteps of the um, Obelegushi, you know, he's a man that likes to jaye and he's very wealthy. I don't think there will be issues in some marriages. But everybody is not going to be the same. Every individual cannot be the same. So, but him celebrating his wife all the time is something that is so beautiful. Like now he made, he brought out a Trump throwback pictures of them and celebrated her. And some, he, his second wife too, he does the same thing for her. He celebrates her, trying to tell them how much he loves them so that they will not feel left behind. He carries them along. He goes to the club with his wives. He goes to businesses with his wife. He travels on vacations with his wife. He's a young, handsome man, and he has beautiful uh, queens in his life. He doesn't make them feel like they are second-hand human being or they are less of a human being. He always brings them together. I think this is the main thing that women want in a relationship. If you quote me wrong, you can say your own opinion. But I think Obelegushi should be given the best king award because for so long, we have heard less scandals from him. Yeah, we have not heard much scandals from Obelegushi, even though he's a very young man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.